I have been feeling miserable the last few weeks. I don't mean depressed or anxious or any of that stuff. As a matter of fact, I'm not sure miserable is the best word to describe it. The problem is that I can't describe it. And even worse than that, I had no idea why. So for a little bit of backstory, about a month ago, I did a 36 hour live stream, which was a world record setting live stream, but I couldn't take care of my kids during that time. So my mom flew in from out of town to help me take care of the kids, to help do stuff around the house. She had never been to my house before, and I've lived there for eight years, so it was a pretty big deal. For those of you who watched my last vlog, you already know, but um, my wife left me in that eight years, and when she did, she left everything behind, which means my house was full. There was only me in there half the time, and me and my two kids in there the other half of the time, but my house was jam-packed full of stuff. I'm not talking like uh, what you might see in a hoarder's episode, but all the closets were full, all the dressers were full, um, everything that was like tucked away in places were full. It was all being used with stuff that we weren't using. So while my mom was in town, she decided that she was gonna help with that. Her and a mutual friend, they emptied all that stuff out. There was multiple truckloads taken to the dump. There was clothes given away to people. There was all kinds of stuff just taken out from all those places and out of my house. It was great. So those of you who have gone through this sort of thing probably already know where I'm getting at, but all the stuff that was out of sight, out of mind, was no longer out of sight. It was in my kitchen and in my living room and in the hallways and, and it was all in plain sight now. Most of the stuff was gone, but there was still some stuff that was usable, some laundry that we, some clothes that we needed and, and some toys that my kids still wanted and stuff. And so now all that stuff was out, which was great. We could see it and figure out what we wanted, what we didn't, but it was no longer hidden away. Now, before I explain the next part, I want you to know that I am 100% grateful for what they did. I needed that done, and my house is definitely infinitely better off now than it was before they came and did all that stuff. I only have a little car, and I don't have a lot of time. I've taken some stuff out of my house here and there over the years, like month by month, but it's slow going. So that was a really, really big boost for me and for my kids and my house. And I'm happy they did it, and I'm grateful they did it, and... Well, I mean, thanks, Mom. <laughs> the problem is, is that, and it's probably largely in part due to the fact that I have autism, is that it was just so overwhelming, and I didn't even recognize that. I just kept thinking my kitchen counters now had tons of stuff on it. My kitchen floors had tons of stuff on it. The cupboards were empty, but there was stuff everywhere. I had like four laundry baskets full of clothes that needed to be put away and sorted out and not necessarily in that order. and and a lot of other things going on and, and I kept thinking that you know I just needed to get this stuff done and put away to all those out of sight out of mind places and then that will be clean and my living space would be clean and it would be terrific but I didn't do it so a couple weeks go by and I'm sitting at my computer desk and I'm not getting any work done so now it's affecting my work as well as not getting my house back in order and I'm thinking what's wrong with me why am I having such a problem with getting motivated to get started on this. Like, it just seems so simple to me that all I had to do was focus on like one laundry basket, put that away and then do something else. And you know what I mean? Like step by step and eventually it would all be done and it would be simple, but I just wasn't doing it for some reason. So it wasn't until I started adding on other things, which is really, really dumb. I started thinking about other things that I would like to do that I have never done and this, this is stuff that I could do once my house was put back in order that would make me happy. But because my house wasn't back in order and I wasn't putting it back in order, it just added on to the stress, the, the depression, the misery. I don't even know how to describe it still, but it was adding on to it to the point where I felt like I just had to go to bed and not think about it anymore. But it was also in that moment that it dawned on me that that's what it was. As I was loading on more things to overwhelm me and feeling that feeling, that was when I realized that it was too much. That was when I realized that as much as this was a great thing, it was also a very bad thing. It was overwhelming me to the point where I just shut down. At the moment I started to think about starting, it caused me to stop. So anyway, it's kind of a, an internet joke at this point. I mean, it's a lifetime joke where you know, when your mom comes in and cleans up your house, you can't find anything anymore. Uh, but in the case of having autism, in the case of being who I am as such an introvert at my computer all the time and everything, it was very conflicting inside my head because it was a good thing, but also a bad thing. It was overwhelming. And so th 
those two mixed emotions caused me to not understand what was going on in my own head and I couldn't figure out why I was feeling what I was feeling. Anyway, I wanted to share this with you because I think it's kind of an important lesson because I've talked to a lot of parents who have children with autism who do not clean up their rooms. They don't take that priority on that sort of thing. And so after so long, the parents will come in and clean it for them because then they can find everything, then everything is better, they can get the stuff done that they wanna get done. But their children end up changing their behavior after. Not forever, but for a little while. Um, they just lack any motivation to get things done. They don't wanna leave. They don't wanna even go to their room. They don't wanna do anything. But they can't explain why. If you ask them, why are you behaving like this? They say, I don't know. Why are you not getting the things done you need to get done? They say, I don't know. And it's very frustrating because you would want them to tell you, but they can't. They literally, having gone through it myself for the last month now, I can tell you 100% confidence, they don't know. So I'm hoping by making this video and explaining to you, um, you can help. it can help you to understand that even a positive change, even a good thing that you do for somebody else, they will see it as a good thing. They will not have any bad feelings towards you. They will not regret that you've done it. They will not feel bad about it, but it may affect them negatively. And because it's a good thing and it's affecting them negatively, they will not understand and they won't be able to share with you why they're feeling the way they're feeling. So anyway, for the last week or so, I've been doing technology free week with my kids. Admittedly, I failed because my life is online and my server's online and I had to be online. So I have spent the majority of the week, however, at the park playing catch and frisbee and board games with my kids and my kids have been playing with friends and we've been doing all sorts of great things this week and I've been feeling a whole lot better. So now I'm actually starting to take those steps to get my house back in order. I'm starting to get things put away. I'm starting to clear out this and that and, and things are feeling a whole lot better and I feel better. And the weather is great. Um, but I wanted to take a moment to make this video to share with you what I've been going through for the past month because I think it might help. I think, at least I hope, I hope it might help somebody to understand that even if somebody is not depressed, that they're not going through anxiety, if they're not going through all these clinical identifiable feelings if they're just feeling off and overwhelmed and not doing anything even though they're not depressed and they can't tell you why they're feeling that way there probably is a very good reason they just don't know it and neither do you and you're gonna have to get through it I don't have any advice on how to do that but you will you'll get through it and it'll be okay just my advice is just don't get too frustrated. Don't get too angry. It's not their fault. Anyway, I hope the video helps. If not, at least it was nice to see you. So thank you very much for watching. Ciao for now.